Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and here's your TIP Daily for February 4th, 2013. Okay, now obviously the biggest news of the day is that the evasion jailbreak for iOS 6.1 finally went live. So if you have iOS 6.1 running on your device, you can now untether jailbreak your phone or iPad mini or iPad or iPod. Now this does involve using a jailbreak tool on the computer called Invasion, but we have a detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to do this for both Windows and Mac users over at todaysiphone.com. And while it seems to be working pretty well, I just have to uh, put it out there that today's iPhone isn't actually responsible for anything that could or might happen to your phone in the jailbreak process. That being said, there are reports that uh, iPhone users are having some trouble with the weather application once they jailbreak their devices, but other than that, it seems to be working pretty well. In fact, it's working so well that the Evasion jailbreak tool was downloaded over 100,000 times in the first 10 minutes of being available. Those are enormous numbers, and as of now, over 270,000 iOS devices have been jailbroken with this jailbreak tool. Okay, now stepping back from the jailbreak news for just a little bit, I wanna tell you guys about an iPad Mini 2 rumor floating around the web that claims that the iPad Mini 2 will have a super, super high resolution retina display, and more specifically, 324 pixels per inch, um, now, to put that in perspective, the current iPad with a retina display, like the full 9.7 inch version, has 264 pixels per inch. Now, supposedly this is going to be accomplished by giving the iPad Mini 2 a 2048 by 1536 resolution. Now, if that number sounds familiar to you, it's because that is the resolution of the current 9.7 inch iPads. But, if you think about it, taking the resolution of a device that's almost uh, 10 inches in size and putting it on a device that is eight inches in size, those pixels are gonna be packed much tighter together, resulting in an even sharper screen. Of course, there's no way to know whether this is true or not, but I think it is pretty safe to say that the iPad Mini 2 will feature a retina display, as uh, you know, all the reviews state that that's really the only thing the device is missing. Okay, well that's all the big news for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Your question of the day today is, have you jailbroken your iOS 6.1 device? Why or why not? And if you did, how was your experience with the evasion jailbreak tool? You can let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. Please don't forget the links to everything I talked about in this video in the description down below, so definitely check those out. And as always, for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to hit up to iPhone.com.